What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Mike here, the FPV Evil Monkey. And today guys, I'm uh, checking out and uh, reviewing, going to be flying the new uh, Emax Tiny Hawk Freestyle. Now I know this has been out for a while, um, and I've been kind of on the uh, ledge about buying one. Um, although I've gotten really good reviews, I've had a few friends that have bought them, and they said they're absolutely a, a blast to fly. And I really do like Emax products. Um, they make some pretty good stuff. Um, you guys know a while back I bought the Tiny Hawk 2, um, which is a really fun little uh, whoop style to fly. Um, I did have the original Tiny Hawk as well. Um, so this is the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. The Tiny Hawk Freestyle, it comes with their uh, 1103 uh, 7000 kV motors. Um, and it comes with, uh, this is the same, I think, uh, board that comes in the Tiny Hawk 2 as well. Um, comes with an onboard VTX, onboard uh, receiver, and everything like that. So it's uh, really super easy to just uh, get right out of the box and uh, bind up to your uh, receiver. So here's kind of what it looks like from the top, uh, from the back, and then uh, from the side, and then from the front. Um, so I'll probably definitely be doing some upgrades on this eventually, um, not right this second, so definitely keep out so, uh, an eye for some new videos and stuff like that. Um, I'll be doing, like I said, some mods and upgrades and uh, maybe some tutorials if you guys want. There's the, uh, the bottom plate as well. So a uh, really cool design, really nice. It's uh, really super, super lightweight. Um, comes with a little battery strap. Now, one thing I did off the bat was this is the VTX antenna. And they kind of had it like sticking up here, and it kind of looked kind of a little bit goofy. Um, so I basically just kind of uh, took it from the front there, and I redirected it, and I just put a little um, zip tie right down here and put it out the back, um, just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more sleek. Um, so that's what it looks like. So uh, what you get in the box, you get um, the regular like Emacs little box. This is the same one for the Tiny Hawks. Um, they just have a different. Um, style of uh, foam for this one obviously because it's a different frame. Um, you get your little, this is probably what I'm going to be upgrading to is the XT60 uh, or not XT60, XT30 sorry um, and or I don't know I, I haven't tried actually flying it outside yet I've just hovered it here so you get a couple of of the Emacs batteries the 450 milliamps these are actually pretty decent batteries um, I've run these on the Tiny Hawk 2 and they're, they're not too bad. So you run these basically in parallel on the back of the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. Um, so it basically becomes a 2S. That's why they give you an XT30 connector. So you can run either two of these style batteries or you can run um, one of these style batteries um, with the XT30 connector on it. So you can run either one of those. And then they give you that little um, USB, um, that way you can charge actually up to six batteries at the same time. So that's kind of a cool little feature as well. I've got another one of these for the Tiny Hawk. Um, I don't use it because I have a regular charger, but um, you definitely could use it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so that's about all that really comes in the package. Um, the binding process was a little bit different from your normal... FR Sky, normally what you do is you just uh, hold down the bind button and then you plug it in and then it binds. Uh, this one's a little different. You have to uh, plug it in and then you hold down the bind button until this little blue light comes on, stays on. Then you turn the transmitter and put it into bind mode. Um, the light will basically uh, stay lit and then as soon as it binds, then the blue light will start flashing. You turn everything off and then when it turns back on the blue light stays so a little bit different and the vtx um, it goes through the directions on how to unlock the vtx when you first get it uh, you can't go to any of the e channels and some of the other channels um, so you do have to go through the unlocking process uh, to unlock those channels to use them so keep in mind you have to have a ham license uh, to be able to do that so uh, that that is clearly in their instructions as well so but uh, yeah it's pretty cool so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge up a couple of the batteries and uh, let's take this little guy outside and let's see how he does <laughs>
All right, guys, so that is the flight um, with the Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle. And I gotta admit, this thing freaking rocks. It is awesome. It is rock solid. Um, I ran one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, pa uh, eight times two, or four packs. It was four 2S packs, back to back to back to back. Um, and it never skipped a beat. Um, it, it was fine. The motors stayed nice and cool. Um, solid. I mean, I had no problems with it at all. Power. I was able to do a power loop. Turns. Um, it's super smooth. If you're thinking about getting something small, like a micro, like a two inch or a toothpick stylish, um, drone, uh, this is one you got to pick up. Um, I was kind of on the fence about getting this thing. But this is absolutely insane, guys. Um, you will absolutely love this little guy. So if you are on the fence and you weren't sure if you should get one of these, I'm always on the fence with bind and flies. You never, never know. Um, but this thing is insane how well quality it is. Um, Emacs, my hat's off to you guys. A++++. This is another huge winner in my book. Um, They've been putting out some phenomenal products lately, and this is just another one to their list. So definitely get out and buy one of these. Um, I bought this off of uh, over at Full Send FPV, uh, my sponsor, and you can also buy one there as well. Um, you can use the code MONKEY, M-U-N-K-E-Y, for 10% off when you check out. So definitely go pick one of these up. These are awesome. They also do stock the batteries, um, I'm using the G and B. These are the 520 milliamps, so it's uh, 1,040 milliamp altogether. And this thing just ran and ran and ran and ran. Um, so definitely worth it. So much fun, guys. Pick one of these up. Thanks for watching the video, guys, as always. And while you're waiting for my next video, let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I'll talk to you later.